my name is Chloe, welcome to my channel and today I'm bringing to you my TBR for the Top of the Pops Challenge. So if you've been around on my channel for a little while now, you may know that I did this last year. This is a challenge that runs through the Facebook group I'm in. It is an, it's not like a completely public thing, um, so sadly by the time this goes up, you might not be able to join in. Um, but yeah, I just feel like it's really great and it's created by Laura, who I always rave about. So she'll be linked in the description. Um, and it's just such a fun time. I actually did win the challenge last year by finishing all of the prompts. So I have very high aims for myself this year. And this is gonna be my full April TBR. I did post a shorter TBR and all of those books will be featured here again but I just wanted to make sure you guys had a full picture of all of the books I'm going to be reading. Each prompt is a song. I will try and stick something to do with the song on the screen because I didn't write down the artist for all of them and I haven't actually heard of all of them. Um, and then you, there are points attributed to each prompt and there's a little leaderboard. There's different things you can get, do to get different points um but i'm just going to run you through the basic books i'm going to read the first song here is 1999 read a book set or written before 1999 so i for some reason struggled and then realized that i was ignoring the set before i was just looking at written um i'm going to read the tattooist of auschwitz by heather morris this is my buddy read with chelsea again it will be linked in the description and i talked about her when i did my full tbr um, this is set in 1942 in Auschwitz-Birkenau, so it fits the prompt and I'm going to be reading it anyway, so it was good to tick one off that was already on my TBR. Next we have Why Does It Always Rain On Me? Read a book with a season or weather element in the title. I wasn't quite sure on this one, I didn't want to give myself too much of a task, so I'm going to go for one of my favourite books of all time and reread it, and that is Midnight Sun by Trish Cook. Nothing to do with Twilight. Um, this is a book about Katie who suffers with XP, which I, I'm not going to be able to pronounce the full name of. But basically, sunlight is deadly to her. She cannot go in sunlight. And it's such, it's a little book. It's maybe 250-ish pages long. And I've watched the movie. I've read this a couple times now and I cry every time. So why not make myself cry one evening in April? Next, we've got The Only Way Is Up. Read a book with a rating of less than three and a half stars. This one, I'm concerned about why it's rated so low because I have heard awful things. Um, and that is There's Someone Inside Your House by Stephanie Perkins. This is the book I'm going to be buddy reading with Connor from Connor's Library Corner. And it's some sort of YA thriller. I'm not going to go more into it. Again, it'll be in my previous TBR, but it has a rating of 3.45. So it's not great. We'll see what it's actually like. Next, we have Build Me Up Buttercup, a book with flowers or nature on the cover. Um, I've gone for my buddy read with Sydney, again, already talked about, and that is The Shadow Friend by Alex North. I don't think we can deny that there's a massive flower, but the flower is actually made out of like handprints and supposed to look like veins and stuff. But you know, I'm still taking it as a flower. This is an adult thriller written by the author of The Whisper Man, which I have already read. And the American title is The Shadows, I think, if it doesn't look too familiar. Um, but yeah, definitely flowers. They might not be legit flowers, but nature. Next, we have Sign Sealed Delivered, I'm Yours. Read a book you recently acquired. And I thought it would be completely unfair to not use a book that Laura, the creator of this challenge, bought me. So we've gone for Goodbye Perfect by Sarah Bernard. I don't know too much about this, apart from the fact that I read um, A Quiet Kind of Thunder. I don't know how I forgot the name. I absolutely loved it. Potentially one of my favourite books of all time. So I definitely want to jump into this one. This is about Eden McKinley. Um, no, she can't count on much in this world, but she can depend on Bonnie, her solid, loyal, straight A best friend. So it's a complete shock when five days before the start of her GCSEs, Bonnie runs away with a guy Eden knows nothing about. And it's the last person she would have ever expected. As the days pass and her world begins to unravel, Eden is forced to question everything she thought she knew about her best friend and herself. Seems like a really fun time and yeah, should be a quick one. Next, we have Five Years Time. Read a book with five or more words in the title. I'm going to be reading The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. This is a buddy read with Christina. Um, we had originally planned for it for February, 
I have no idea. We keep pushing it, but we have got to a time where we will definitely be reading it in April. So that is on my list. It is a YI, YI? a YA sci-fi is all I know. Um, I probably talked about it two TBRs ago and in the last TBR, so I won't go on, but I've heard amazing things. Next, we have Time of My Life, read a book in your favourite genre. So for this, I've classed my favourite genre as YA contemporary. It is what I enjoy the most. And I have an arc on NetGalley I need to get to. That is Full Term by Ellie Rosen Key. It's actually published on the 30th of March, so it will be published by the start of April. So I'm going to be getting to it a little bit late, but I'm not too worried about that. Um, and this is a book about, I think, a 16 year old that gets pregnant. It looks relatively short um, and it needs to be read because it's on NetGalley. And I am going to try in this monthly challenge. To, I'm doing this as if you know my notebook is here um, to completely get through my NetGalley TBR. So that's one off the list. Next, we have Giant read a book over 500 pages. So I've gone for Air of Fire by Sarah J Mass. This is book number three in the Throne of Glass series. At the time of filming this, I haven't yet read Crown of Midnight. It's looking at me over there. I feel very guilty. Um, but this next book is about 560 pages long. So luckily, the only absolutely massive book on my TBR, but fits the prompt. And I think that's the prompt that has the most points. I could be wrong. Next, we have Holiday. Read a book set in a country you want to visit. And would it be me if I didn't pick um, America as a country I'd want to visit? Obviously, I want to. It'll be the first place I'll be going as soon as I can. So I've gone for Bike Club by Rachel Kane. This is book number 10 in the Morganville Vampire series, which is actually set in Texas. So not quite where I want to go in America, but still America. This is a relatively big chunker, but I should do it very quickly. The Morganville series is one of my favourites of all time. It is an easy YA vampire series. I speed through these books. And um, just as a quick overview, the first book is about Claire, who is very intelligent. She goes off to college at 16 and her parents don't want her to go to a big university because she's so young. So they send her to the safe town of Morganville to go to university. Um, but Morganville is run by vampires. So yeah, this is book 10. We're a few years into that journey now. And I actually don't know what's going to be covered in this one. I've completely forgotten. So yeah, I have read them before and I'm rereading the series. I think there's 15 in the main series. So I'm getting there. I'm nearly done. Next is 5678, a book with a number in the title. So I've gone for The 13 Treasures by Michelle Harrison. This again is pretty short. It is a middle grade fantasy. I actually did this as part of my books I'm daunted by tag. I don't know whether you've seen that yet, depending on when I upload this. Um, but yeah, it's one I just really need to tick off my TBR. And it's to do with Tanya, who's visiting her grandmother's house and discovers an unsolved mystery. 50 years ago, a girl vanished into the woods nearby, a girl Tanya's grandmother will not speak of. Fabian, the caretaker's son, is tormented by the girl's disappearance. His grandfather was the last person to see her alive and has lived under, sus under suspicion ever since. Really don't know much about this. People rave about this series. They rave about Michelle Harrison, so I need to get to it finally. Next, we have Back in Black, a book with black on the cover. So I've gone for a book which is pretty much all black, and that is Straight On Till Morning by Liz Braswell. This is my buddy read with Emily at Novell Novels, um, and it is a Peter Pan retelling for What If Wendy Went to Neverland with Captain Hook. So again, talked about this in my full TBR, but it definitely fits the prompt. Six more to go, we're nearly there. So we have Call Me, a book with a name or a pronoun in the title. So I've gone for another NetGalley arc, which is Fight For Her by Liz Plum, which comes out on the 9th of March, so it's already out, oops. Um, this I know nothing about, it's a YA contemporary, is all I'm gonna tell you. I don't know more than that, we're gonna go in blind. Next we have Smooth Criminal, read a thriller, crime or mystery book. So NetGalley arc number three, we have The Whole Truth by Cara Hunter. I actually got approved for this so long ago and it doesn't come out till the 29th of April. So if I do this to the start of my TBR, then I might read this before it comes out, which is not like me at all. Um, so I'm going to be quite proud of myself if I do that. Again, no nothing. It's an adult thriller. So I'm going to go blind anyway. Next, we have Love at First Sight. Read a book with a pretty cover. I've not manipulated this, but kind of have. So this is Nat Galliart number four. I think if you say a pretty cover or a beautiful cover, that's different things. Beautiful is like, wow, I'm astounded. This is gorgeous. Pretty cover is cute. So I've gone for a cute 
more cute cover, which is The Year Shakespeare Ruined My Life by Danny Jensen, which actually came out on the 29th of September last year. And I was approved for it way back when, like this time last year. So I definitely need to read it. This is a YA contemporary is all I can tell you. Next we have Smells Like Teen Spirit, read a young adult book or a book with a teenage main character. So I've gone for Harrow Lake by Kat Ellis. This is my buddy read with Rhiannon at The Welsh Reader. And it is a YA horror. I think. Again, not going to go over it. I've already bored you with it, so get into it. Next, I'm Your Man. Read a book with a male author or a male main character. So I've used this opportunity to fit our sister's approximately pick into the TBR, and that is Dry by Neil and Jared Schusterman. I actually don't know. The main character is female, but we have two male authors, so definitely fits the prompt. We have more male authors than we even needed. And finally, we have a bonus prompt, which is to read a book related to music. So I am finally getting around to Daisy Jones and Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I've had this for so long. Um, I loved The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. It was a five star for me. I think it's on my favourite shelf on Goodreads. And I just keep putting this off, but I need to get to it. I've heard such great things. And what does that say? Sex, drugs and rock and roll, you bet. Okay, I need to read this. And if you are unaware, somehow this follows the band Daisy Jones and the Six, so that's how it's related to music. So that is the massive list of books that I'm gonna try to get to in April. I can't believe it. Am I gonna do it? I did more than this in January and had some really important stuff going on. April should be a pretty chill month for me, so this should be possible. We'll see, but I'm gonna try. So that is all from me today. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have read any of these books, have any strong opinions, please do let me know down in the comments. I would love to chat to you about them. But on that note, that's all I have to say today. So thank you for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.